On behalf of the Greater Lowell Technical School Committee and our faculty and staff, I would like to extend a warm welcome to our graduating seniors, their families and friends, to our virtual portion of our commencement ceremony. My name is Jill Davis, and I have the honor to serve you as the interim superintendent director of this wonderful high school. Our commencement ceremony is the highlight of each school year, and we are very happy that you are with us today to share in this important celebration of student success for the class of 2020. Please join me as we honor our nation with the playing of the national anthem. I would like to thank our longtime musician and friend, Mr. Ralph Fanaro, for contributing his talents to enhancing our celebration. We are very fortunate to have a school committee that believes in doing what's best to ensure that our students receive a quality vocational technical education. Please join me in recognizing and thanking them for their support. Chairman Mr. Paul Morin from the town of Dracut. Vice Chairman Mr. Kempton Giggy from the town of Dunstable. Mr. Matthew Sheehan from the town of Dracut. Mr. Fred Bahu from the city of Lowell. Mr. Lee Gitchia from the city of Lowell. Mr. Curtis LeMay from the city of Lowell. Mr. George O'Hare from the city of Lowell. And Mr. George Tatsios from the town of Tingsboro. I'd like to begin by asking you to join me in a moment of silence in memory of Laura Harrison, school counselor who recently passed away, and for all the families impacted by this devastating effects of COVID-19. Thank you. I am honored and privileged to celebrate this tremendous milestone with you today. Your time has come. Today we honor 12 years of your hard work. The studying, the tests, projects, early mornings, and late nights. And we honor everyone who got you here. Your family, friends, teachers, counselors, coaches, and community. This was not the year that you envisioned, just as you were looking forward to prom, graduation, and other celebrations, the world was turned upside down by a global pandemic. Yet you persisted through these unprecedented times, demonstrating grit, resilience, and determination, helping each other from a distance to get to this moment today. Please do not forget about all the experiences 
that have brought you to this moment. Hold on to them, the laughs, the cries, friendships you've made, the lessons learned, the knowledge you've gained, the skills you've mastered, and the hardships you've navigated. These have all shaped you into the remarkable individuals that you are today. Value what you have learned and look forward to those new experiences that lie ahead. Your graduation is an incredible achievement and marks the beginning of a new chapter of your life, a time to reflect and establish new goals and objectives for your future. Your years at Greater Lowell Tech have prepared you with the core values, knowledge, and technical skills to be able to choose a path that aligns with your unique talents and skills, one that makes you happy and allows you to fulfill your dreams and achieve your goals. No matter what path you choose, whether it be attending college, going out into the workforce, or joining the military, continue to be the good citizen you want to see represented in the world. Listen to your inner voice, the one which guides you away from danger and negativity and towards peace and positivity. Choose to be a voice of hope, not despair. To lead when needed or conform to what is right. Allow that inner voice to reflect respect and compassion for others. Appreciate your parents, families, friends, and your community. Always seek truth, challenge injustice, and trust that inner voice. That voice is a combination of your life's lessons, whether good or bad. You, the individual, can decide to lift your community up or to tear it down. You decide to say, we can do this together, or say, I'm not doing that, it can't be done. Realize you are part of something greater than yourself. John F. Kennedy once said, ask not what your country can do for you, ask what you can do for your country. One day, you will look back and reflect on your life, the places you've traveled, people you interacted with, things that made you feel good about yourself, the people you helped when you were busy but found the time and cared, Allow that period of reflection to fill you with pride. Be humble and grateful for life's opportunities and what you've gained from them. Be the change you want so desperately to see in this world. It's the only world we have, and together, you are the solution. Congratulations, class of 2020, and best wishes. We couldn't be prouder. The world is yours now to go make a difference. Remember, you will always be Griffin Strong. Please stay healthy and safe. Thank you. At this time, it is my great pleasure to introduce the salutatorian of the class of 2020, Enrico N. Natoli V. Thank you, Ms. Davis. Welcome, class of 2020. I am Enrico Natoli V, and I am honored to be named salutatorian of our class. Thank you to Mr. Paul Morin, chairman of our school committee, school committee members representing the city of Lowell and towns of Dracut, Dunstable, and Tingsboro, interim superintendent, Ms. Jill Davis, interim assistant superintendent, Mr. Michael Barton, Keynote speaker, Ms. Haley Basic, faculty, staff, friends, and family. When I, like all of us seniors, started high school, I was filled with uncertainty of what direction I was going to head, literally and figuratively. The hall seemed to stretch down forever, and trying to find my classes was a nightmare, which was a struggle for all of us. I can't even count how many times I walked into the wrong classroom on my first few days. Every two weeks, we moved on to a new exploratory. It was scary being put in a new environment where almost everyone was a stranger and we had that one friend to rely on. 
It was challenging for us to scramble the halls to find our classes while fitting in with the people around us and taking in something from our new classes. Some of us wanted to pick up extracurricular activities like sports and clubs. This only added to the challenges we were already dealing with by adding longer hours to our day and making us more tired than we already were, but allowed for us to make better relationships with new faces a lot quicker. As freshman year came to a close, it was time to decide a shop. The decision of choosing a shop would ultimately determine our learning path for the next three years and possibly our career. I was unaware at, at the time when I picked programming and web development as my shop, I was unaware of all the friends I would make, all the opportunities the shop would give me, and all of the teachers that would be there to support us on this journey. The next few years seemed to fly by faster than we could process. Going back to school for our sophomore year, we all felt more confident in ourselves as we started to learn our way around the building. But this year, our classes were different than the previous year. We had longer classes, separate weeks for our academics and shop, and new classes with all different people. Some we had known from before, and others were complete strangers. With all the new confusion, sophomore year started out hectic, but calmed down once we all started to create bonds with our new classmates and got to know our teachers that would guide us through the year of hard work that was ahead and make memories along the way. Here's a situation some of you may be able to relate to. Once in my chemistry class with Ms. Jablonski, we were taking a simple test and one of the questions asked how fast a plane flew after takeoff. I really struggled with this problem and took almost the whole class to answer it. And once I had my math written down and was confident in my answer, I passed in the test. A few minutes later, she walked up to my desk and asked me, Enrico, how can a plane fly at four miles per hour? The whole class laughed because of my crazy answer and I laughed with them. Each of us made mistakes through the year, but had learned to overcome them and are leaving with some memory that will bring a smile to our faces through this crazy time of truly becoming a high schooler. Summer passed by and junior year came around. At the time, it was crazy to think that half of our high school career was already over. The year started and with it had brought new challenges. Just when we had gotten into the rhythm of different weeks and longer classes, Course assignments were heavier, and there was more homework to do, which no one enjoyed. Along with that, it was also time to prepare for the SATs. But with these challenges aside, we could finally start to apply for co-op jobs to utilize our knowledge of the trade we chose. When I had my first co-op interview at IBM, I arrived at the building confident yet anxious about what was to come. After my interviews, I genuinely thought I did terribly and went home thinking about all the questions they asked and how I could have answered them better. A few days later, Mr. King, my shop teacher at the time, pulled each of us aside that interviewed and told us whether or not we got the job. When he called my name to inform me, he said, Enrico, I'm sorry to say, but you won't be in shop next year. You got the job. That sentence put me through so many emotions in so little time. Although not all of us were able to work co-op jobs, it enabled all of us to go through the process of being interviewed, which is a lifelong skill we all need. As junior year started to end, many of us started the process of getting ready to apply for college and to prepare for our senior year, something we had looked forward to since kindergarten. But I think we all know how that turned out. When I started senior year, I wanted it to be over. Yes, senioritis is a real thing, whether you believe it or not. I was excited for what was to come, but at the same time, I wanted some time to relax. The problem is, however, when you put yourself in the hardest classes possible, there is no time to relax. With a co-op job, academic classes, and sports, senior year demanded time management and how to have fun when time was of the essence. It was sad to know that this would be our last year in this house of memories that had treated us so well, 
but we knew that the rest of the year would finish soon and we could finally take some time to enjoy all the hard work that we had put in, or so we thought. Alas, a virus that everyone had thought lightly of had turned into a global pandemic and had caused our senior year when it was time to enjoy our final year of high school to come to an abrupt halt. On March 13th, no one expected that it would be our last time roaming the halls, seeing friends, or trying to skip class in our school. The pandemic has caused us to learn virtually and delay some of our best moments of our high school life, like prom and high school senior week, for an unseen future. When I was a freshman, I had never thought my senior year would end like this, with social distancing, virtual learning, co-op being suspended, and the sudden urge to buy as much toilet paper as possible. But our high school experience should not be taken for granted. There was much to learn from this pandemic and it can encourage us to bring us back together. We could not see this coming and we must work around it together as Griffins. Thank you. At this time, I'd like to welcome to the podium, Mr. Paul Morin, Chairman of the School Committee. Thank you. It gives me great pleasure to be here with you today for all the accomplishments this class has achieved. My colleagues and I on the school committee would like to congratulate you. I think congratulations should also be acknowledged for your parents and family for being there for you. These years seem to go by so fast and we sometimes take the people around us for granted. Of course, I don't want to leave out your teachers for a job well done. I would like to leave you with a few words that I feel are a guide as you walk through life. If you know what your passion is, follow it. If you don't, keep searching. Success is to live your life with integrity and not give in to peer pressure to something you are not. Follow your passion. Stay true to yourself. I encourage you to forge ahead on your journeys to remember your dreams and to find hope, purpose, and peace in your life. In conclusion, May I remind you to work hard, push your limits, never stop learning, and always remember to have some fun along the way. Live your life to the fullest. God bless the class of 2020. At this time, it is my pleasure to introduce the valedictorian of the class of 2020, Courtney Wilder. Thank you, Mr. Morin. Hello, fellow graduates and families. I would like to begin by welcoming all of you to our class of 2020 graduation ceremony. Thank you to Mr. Paul Morin, chairman of our school committee, school committee members representing the city of Lowell and towns of Dracut, Dunstable, and Tingsboro. Interim Superintendent, Ms. Jill Davis. Interim Assistant Superintendent, Mr. Michael Barton. Keynote speaker, Ms. Haley Basic. Faculty, staff, friends, and family. We are the class of 2020. We have 2020 vision. We have a perfect vision into our future. Attending Greater Lowell Technical High School has given us countless opportunities to ready ourselves for life after high school. Whether we choose to follow the path of attending a college or university, or furthering our knowledge of our trades at a technical institute, or entering the workforce, or serving our country by joining the military, our school has prepared us for success. Our hands-on learning in our shops, multi-level academic courses, opportunity to go out on co-op, and extracurricular activities, such as Skills USA, clubs, and sports, gave us the potential to be dedicated workers in the future. 
because we are the products of a technical education. We have the perfect vision to go out into our fields, and we are leaving high school knowing how to find our futures. When I started high school, like many of you, I had no idea what career I wanted to pursue. Thankfully, through our freshman year exploratories, I learned that programming and web development was a topic I wanted to study. I'm sure many of you shared this experience of finding your perfect shop through exploratories. If we hadn't made the choice to attend this vocational high school, we may never have discovered our aptitude for our programs. Even if you decided to not follow the direction of your shop, our education has given us all unique, marketable skills to achieve our dreams. I am confident when I say that we have all benefited from our school's excellent shops. Despite all of the great things our time in high school has shown us, I would be remiss to not to mention the virus that has shocked our world. As we are all too aware, coronavirus has caused severe disruption to our daily lives. We abruptly went from going to school, playing sports, commuting to work, and spending time with friends and family to spending weeks in isolation. Social distancing and wearing masks when leaving our houses has rapidly become our new normal, whether we like it or not. There is no doubt that this time has caused apprehension for the future, but it has also been a testament to how strong and adaptable we are, particularly as high school seniors. This year is supposed to be a time of celebration and preparation for taking the next steps in our adult lives. For the class of 2020, we were not given the time to adjust to our new realities and give a proper goodbye to our time in high school. Instead, uncertainty consumed our day-to-day -day lives as we awaited news about whether or not we would have a traditional prom and graduation, or if they would have to become virtual for everyone's health. No matter the outcome of these unprecedented circumstances, our resilient class is always willing to do what needs to be done to protect each other's safety. Coronavirus has undoubtedly presented roadblocks, but getting through this trying time has enhanced the strength that has always been within each of us. As William Ellery Channing once said, difficulties are meant to rouse, not discourage. The human spirit is to grow strong by conflict. By doing what no class before us has done, living through this crisis, we are becoming better prepared for whatever may come our way. During our three and a half years of high school, we learned a lot about each other and ourselves. The best lessons we learned are it's okay to be who you are. Friends are those that stick by you through good times and bad. We are able to remain strong during times of uncertainty. And most importantly, how to keep our vision for the future clear. Congratulations, class of 2020. At this time, I'd like to introduce our keynote speaker, Ms. Haley Basic. Ms. Basic is a 2010 graduate of Greater Lowell Tech and, like me, was proud to be recognized as valedictorian of her class. Ms. Basic was a resident of Lowell who attended the Wang Middle School. She was a student in the carpentry program at Greater Lowell, captain of the varsity softball team, and an active member of Skills USA, where she won a state gold medal and went on to represent our school at the National Conference in Kansas City, Missouri. Following graduation, Ms. Basic attended Wentworth Institute of Technology, where she earned a Bachelor's of Science and a Master's of Science in Construction Management. For the past five years, Ms. Basic has worked for Gilbane Building Company, where she completed their internal management program. In her role as a senior project engineer, Ms. Basic has worked on many high profile assignments, including the $35 million Reebok headquarters fit out in downtown Boston. Her current projects include several infrastructure upgrades at various college campuses for the state of Massachusetts. 
It is with great pleasure that I introduce this year's keynote speaker, Ms. Haley Basic. Faculty, parents, relatives, friends, and the class of 2020, thank you for allowing me the opportunity to be a part of your commencement ceremony. Wherever you are watching from, I hope that you are safe, comfortable, have plenty of snacks, and are able to share this evening with as many members of your family as you would like, an opportunity that most graduates do not have. I understand how hard things are and how uncertainty has become a norm in these trying times. Though the situation is not ideal, I can promise you that overcoming these unexpected hurdles will only better prepare you for anything life throws your way. Though I cannot be with you in person, this is truly an honor for me and I look forward to celebrating your accomplishments and offering my advice this evening on what comes next. 10 years ago, the theme of my valedictorian speech was strength. And 10 years later, the same theme stands true for the class of 2020, whose sacrifices have not gone unnoticed. I encourage all of you to look back on the past four years and see how much you've grown from your first steps into Greater Lowell until now. We should all be so proud, for today you've earned an education like no other. I can assure you that a technical education is a gift, and that there's no better choice you could have made four years ago than to opt for an education with a focus on real work experience. It may not be apparent now, but the communication skills, the work ethic, and the problem-solving abilities you will take away from this school will help you throughout the rest of your lives. Today is certainly something to celebrate, and I believe that all of you should be excited to make use of everything you have learned. It is important to understand that the education you've earned in learning the trades and services offered at Greater Lowell make you the doers of the world. Those who are the designers, the builders, and the workers in our hospitals and businesses. Those who take care of others, provide a better quality of life to people, and those who provide services that support our entire country. And for that, all of you should be very proud today. Whether you're going to pursue your trade, seek additional occupational training, go to college, join the armed forces, or take on a different journey of your own, know that the world is going to need your services, ideas, and innovations now more than ever. I challenge you to all reflect on the world around you and think about how your career path is going to help you change it for the better. I know that it's hard to ask when you have such long roads ahead of you, but it's never too early to think about what your legacy will be. Setting goals and celebrating progress will be important along the way, but taking time to question the way things are done and coming up with new and more efficient ways of doing things is equally important. Think about what your impact will be long term, what you will be remembered for and incorporated into your plans and goals. And when you get to the point in your career when you have the experience to share with others, look to be a mentor or a role model to younger people in your industries. It is important to always look for ways to give back to others as you grow throughout your careers. I know today may not have been the way most of you pictured your graduation to be, but I hope you leave today feeling empowered by the skills you've earned, excited for the new opportunities that lie ahead, and encouraged to make a positive impact on the world. The class of 2020 will be remembered as having the strength to persevere, for being resilient, and for being a catalyst for changing things for the better. Whatever your plans are, I wish you the best of luck. May you be confident in the choices you make, proud of your journey, and find success in whatever career you choose to pursue. Thank you. Thank you, Haley Basic 2010 Greater Lowell Technical High School graduate. We are grateful for your participation and words of inspiration in today's commencement ceremony. At this time, it is my great honor to introduce the Interim Assistant Superintendent Principal, Mr. Michael Barton, for the awarding of the diplomas.
Good morning. Thank you, Superintendent Davis. It's my pleasure to introduce the class of 2020 automotive technology graduates, Dylan Bach. Bianca M. Cruz. Bradley A. Cruz. <laughs> Owen M. Ellsworth. Aaron C. Erskine. Eduardo D. Gomez Aguayo. Megan N. Goslin. Emmanuel Hortas. Kevin R. Keeve. John P. Lally, Jr.
Jared C. Marchand. Gabriel A. Nieto Osorio. Yeah. Ulysses S. O.T.J. Leah M. Ortiz. Xavier M. Pereira. Matthew J. Resendez. Ayanna M. Rivera. Josue I. Rivera Augusto. Matthew J. Rubrick. Christopher M. Silva. <laughs> Tyler C. Sin.
Jose A. Valencia. Neil Venilanuva. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the class of 2020 automotive technology. It's now my pleasure to introduce senior class advisor and Ms. Kim Fabrez, who will provide us with a moment of reflection. Thank you, Mr. Barton. Will the class of 2020 pause with me for a moment of reflection? As I drove to work a few weeks back with gloves and mask in hand, I thought how scary the unknown was for me as an adult. After discussing this with Mrs. Gorman, we knew what last pieces of advice we wanted to leave you as you move into adulthood. Remember the way you looked at life when you were a child. Ask questions, ask why, and keep asking until you understand. Try new things. Leave your comfort zone without hesitation and don't give up until you have mastered a new task. Laugh a lot and please don't hold on to anger. The only person anger can hurt is you. Life is hard. Persevering through the hard times will make you strong, Griffin strong. It has been an honor and our privilege to be a part of your high school career as your teachers and now today as your senior class advisors. The chapter called High School in the story of your life is over and sadly we no longer can be your teachers. Happily, learning isn't over, and life is your teacher now. Tomorrow begins a new chapter. Make a difference in this world. To all of the families and friends with us today, we want to thank you for sharing your precious gifts with Greater Lowell Technical High School. To our graduates, thank you for being you. We wish you good luck. Never stop reaching for your dreams, and know that we will miss you. Will the class of 2020 please move your tassels from the right to the left? Congratulations, 2020. Please remember, you are Griffin Strong. And will the newest members of Griffin alumni please join their families? Congratulations, graduates. <laughs>